dated somebody that you didn't like. And I mean, just for like, you know, like a year and a half. <laughs> and then you're not sure how to break up with them, so you're just sort of mean to them. <laughs> kind of hoping they'll do it. Start faking like you have a drinking problem, you know? And then finally, they leave you, because they get it, and that's when you realize, oh my God, I totally have a drinking problem. <laughs> Except now, I don't have a driver. <laughs> Try putting that in a personal ad. It's like more about what I am looking for as uh, pretty much a driver. Um, you don't want to get busted drinking and driving, you guys. They have this thing now. Uh, they put it on your ignition, and you have to breathe into it every time you get into your car, and if it detects alcohol in your breath, your car doesn't start. Yeah. Brutal, right? Yeah, it's so brutal. It'd be awesome if they could put something like that on my cell phone. <laughs> you think the uh, drunk dialing stops when you turn 30, but it actually gets worse, you guys. <laughs> Although, I don't know what the new thing is with people calling me back the next day. I don't like that. Um, if I call you on a Friday night at like 2 o'clock in the morning, I probably had a very specific need, and I would like to speak to you then, please. <laughs> <laughs> not so much on a Saturday afternoon, you know? What are we going to talk about? My hangover? I'm not interested. <laughs> and you're right, you didn't answer, but maybe somebody else did, and now you've gone and you've woken him up. <laughs> <laughs> 